This video will tell you how to make a dependent drop-down list in Excel. Let's begin. Type the entries for the drop-down lists like the screenshot shown. Then create tables for each data list. Create range names for the main list and each dependent list. Select the items that will appear in main list, A2, A3, then go to the name box, type the name, product. Press enter key to complete. Then repeat above steps to separately create names for each dependent lists. Here name second column, B2, B5, as fruit, the third column, C2, C6, as vegetable. Next. Create a table for placing the drop-down lists. Select a cell and type the first column header, product, and move to next column cell, F1, type the second column header, item. Select these two headers, E1 and F1, insert a table, notice that check my table has headers option. Select cell E2 and click data tab, and go to data tools group to click data validation. In the data validation dialog, Choose list in the allow section and type formula into source bar. Click OK. Select cell F2 and click data tab and go to data tools group to click data validation. In the data validation dialog, choose list in the allow section and type formula into source bar. Click OK. Now the dependent drop-down list has been made. Type the entries like the screenshot shown. Select the data lists, click Kutals tab. Then click Dynamic Dependent drop-down list in the drop-down list group. In Popped dialog, choose the mode based on your data arrangement, then choose Output Range. Click OK. The dependent drop-down list is done.